Okay. Two teams this year that look to be at the bottom. That's Stanford and Colorado. Arizona State's down there too. I think we can agree at this point in time, those are the three worst teams in the Pac-12. Colorado's probably last and Stanford, ASU. I'll, I'll take Stanford because their head coach hasn't been let go yet. It's unclear to me how David Shaw doesn't have the pressure mounting with, with every game. And they were mildly competitive against USC. Not really competitive against Washington over the weekend. Colorado, I, I think the, the next coach to be let go, if that does take place, will be Carl Durrell because of how those games are. I, I mean, they've only been in it. They've played eight halves of football this year. They've looked at least semi-competitive for one, and it was week one in front of what I believe was a basically sold-out home stadium. It's not going well, and both of those coaches should have immense pressure going forward every single week. If the athletic administrations of each respective school has a shred of a competitive expectation for those football programs. They are evaluating every week and wondering if one particular game could be the final nail in the coffin. I think Darrell's seat should be hotter than Shaw's, but David Shaw is moving into that category here. Before the season, I thought they'd be able to bounce back a little, and they've got a new offensive philosophy that's very RPO heavy. Doesn't seem to be yielding fantastic results, and the defense is still not there. And yes, Washington has a very good passing attack. But when Stanford was a good team in the Pac-12 year in and year out, nobody was throwing the ball on them like that. Nobody was moving the ball on them like that. But that's where they've gotten. And it's not because of coaching turnover. They've had continuity on their staffs on both sides of the ball. And yet they go out there and are not able to stop a nosebleed, it seems. Sure, they've gone up against two of the best-looking teams in the Pac-12 so far in USC and Washington. But Stanford is a team that we have seen get to the highest level of this conference, knock on the door of the college football playoff, win Rose Bowls, conference championships. That's the standard that David Shaw set during that incredible six-year run. And if you're this far away from that, if you're the AD at Stanford, you have to ask the question of, has this run come to an end? And if this is looking like it'll be another three and nine, maybe four and eight season, are you just going to be content with that? If you're the Cardinal, I don't know why they would be, but I don't get the sense that they have the sort of pressure there. And there's time for him to turn it around, right? I'm not saying, you know, lose this week and, and, you know, you, you got to get the boot or anything like that, but the pressure needs to be starting to mount Colorado they could make a coaching change at any point in time, and it would be a defendable move at this point. Even though their 2023 recruiting class is actually respectable, they've got a lot of names in there. Most or all, I think, are, are, are three-star guys, but that's kind of what you expect at Colorado. There's nothing optimistic outside of that, and that's a, you know a minor positive to be sure, but it's nothing groundbreaking or program-altering to the point where Carl Durrell should not be on thin ice. And I know Buffs fans largely feel that way. And they should. Because you have a team that's going out there on a weekly basis. And it's not going to get easier in conference play. And they're just not competitive. If this were a Scott Frost at Nebraska sort of deal, where you're losing a bunch of one possession games, that's one thing. That's an argument for, you know, give him time, give him another year, new offensive staff. But these games aren't close. And the two quarterbacks who are battling for the starting job coming into the year, Brendan Lewis and JT Shrout, are not playing quarterback right now. That's where they're at. They don't have a quarterback. They don't have a consistent offense. Their defense is getting shredded. It, it, there's just nothing to feel good about with the product that is on the field. And when your administration has to release a statement saying to fans, continue to support the program and you know, Coach Durrell and the staff and myself are not happy with everything and yada, yada, yada. That's not a good place to be. It's not a good place to be. And Carl Durrell and David Shaw, both more so on the former, but Shaw as well, should have a lot of pressure week to week. And it should be a week by week analysis by each school saying, all right, this is another step in this direction. Now, maybe they have a week that buys them time. 
right? Colorado, you go on the road, you win at Arizona this week. Doesn't matter what Arizona's done the last couple of years. If you win on the road, Carl Durrell buys himself time. If Stanford wins at Oregon this week, you buy yourself a lot of time. But if both teams and their double-digit road underdogs come and get blown out again, you have to start asking the question, when is it time to move on? Appreciate everyone listening. See you next time and have a wonderful rest of your day.